Warning, before passing judgment, please watch the entirety of this video to fully understand the complete context. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you some recent news headlines which may surprise or even shock some of you. However, I will go over them in more detail towards the end of the video, so make sure to watch all the way through. According to CNN Business, Mickey Mouse cancelled. Disney set to delete beloved character from movie archive. This was published on June 25th, 2020. Just scrolling down here. Uh, see, uh, New York CNN Business. Mickey Mouse, one of Disney's most popular but problematic characters, will be completely reimagined, the company announced on Thursday. Hmm, not good. Next news story on CNBC. Apple announces white iPhones to be phased out by 2021. New color lineup to be revealed next month. Uh, this was published on June 22, 2020. Uh, during the WWDC 2020 keynote, Apple revealed iOS 14, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the second point here. It also said it will begin to phase out all white iPhones by 2021 due to unconscious racial bias. Hmm, I don't think a white iPhone has anything to do with racial identity in any way. Okay, next uh, news. This is just on Google, Google News. Uh, queen declares that she'll be the last Queen of England, insider. Buckingham Palace to be restructured and turned into historical museum. Kate Middleton looking forward to non-royal life. Prince William upset. Well, obviously so. The next headline, this is from USA Today. Brisbane, Australia, set to host 2024 Summer Olympics due to ongoing funding issues in Paris. It's the first time I've heard of it. This was published June 25th, 2020. Uh, Brisbane, the capital city of the Australian state of Queensland, will be the new hosts of the 2024 Summer Olympic Games due to ongoing funding issues in the French capital. You'd think we would have heard about this earlier. Uh, next. Uh, Headline. This is CNN Politics, The Point with Chris Saliza. Donald Trump facing health crisis may step down from presidential race. This was published on June 25th as well. It sounds a little bit fake to me. Um, what do they say? The President of the United States, Donald Trump, is said to be facing an ongoing health crisis with insiders saying that it will be unlikely that he can continue on into a second term. Jeez, Louise. I thought I'd better just check another website uh, just to verify this information. MSNBC, they're a little bit known to be anti-Trump, so we have to take all of this with a grain of salt. Trump hospitalized VP Mike Pence to take over leadership momentarily. As infection rates reach new heights, President Donald Trump has been hospitalized. Mike Pence wants Republicans to focus on encouraging signs. However, the president's condition may worsen. Hmm. Again, as I said, I thought this might be a bit of fake news being spread around, so I thought the best source of uh, information about Trump would be his Twitter feed. This is the official Donald Trump uh, Twitter account, at uh, real Donald Trump, and looking at his most recent tweet, he says, Don't listen to the lamestream media. I'll be out of hospital before you know it. So it looks like he really is in hospital. Or is he? I've been a bit of a naughty boy. All those websites that I just showed you were indeed real. However, all the news that I showed you was simply not true. Was it fake news? No. Was it news published by those reputable companies? No. It was all news invented by yours truly. Am I some sort of hacker who can infiltrate the likes of Donald Trump's Twitter account? No. I just used some basic HTML knowledge and out-of-the-box Firefox functionality to edit the news headlines. Here, I'll show you how. This is the ABC News website. Uh, their top headline today is, Australia and New Zealand will host 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. Just say that I want to change that uh, news headline. I can just open up this tool here inside Firefox, select any part of the text that I wish to change, just say the headline, scroll across here, and then I can paste in anything that I want to. So for example, we've updated the headline to Australia and New Zealand to cancel women's football indefinitely due to COVID funding cuts. 
Let's do another one. Let's go to Scott Morrison's official uh, Twitter account. Scrolling down to Scott's first tweet. Uh, Today I joined the first drive through of the North Connects Tunnel in Sydney with Gladys B and M. McCormack. Just say we want to change that tweet. Open this up. Click on that. Go through to the text that we want to update and paste in what we want. So, today I made the regrettable but necessary decision to close all Sydney roads to vehicular traffic until further notice. This decision will be reassessed in four weeks' time. On-the-spot fines will be issued to those in breach of the rule. So what's the point of all of this? Why am I showing you how to edit news headlines? Well, the main reason is just to show you how easy it really is. If I can do it and make a video showing you all these fake news stories, then so can many other people. You have to be very cautious about what you read and watch online. You can't just trust a single source for all your online information. If you see a headline that seems dubious, it's probably a wise idea to do a search elsewhere and double-check the information. Unfortunately, these are the times we live in where propaganda and the war on information are ever so prevalent. Whatever you do, just be careful with what you read and watch online.